One of the icons featured within our trailer is the crucifix and this is a conventional aspect of horror as they often use the themes of religion especially in paranormal films or like supernatural in terms of Carrie or the exorcist and they often reinforce fear towards the audience because when used correctly religion can often be dark and dreary it can reinforce the dark elements of the narrative within the film and in one of the questionnaires we conducted it was evident that the participants aged between 11 and 30 found the use of religion within uh, within the the two trailers that we showed in our focus group um uncomfortable which is why we wanted to use um, the theme of religion in our trailer because we wanted to increase the element of fear that I was evident because we want people to be scared when they engage in our trailer. So if we, we agreed that if we used religion, then we'll be able to evoke a reaction for fear for those who find religion scary or within when when the conventions of religion almost the the goodness is twisted upside down and it's almost used is turned sinister and people manipulate it to their benefit and that's what flora does and we show elements of that within our trailer but if you see within our narrative you see the fall of it like when she bites her sister's finger and she doesn't want to go inside the church but then she goes in there on her own just sneaks in there and it's shown in the trailer and this is an element that really is effective through children also because it's quite creepy and rather than focusing on the element of blood we want to focus on the fact that these people this family is different from the norm this is what has caused a girl like Flora to rise up and become a creepy evil villain so we wanted to do something different but also mainly reinforce the element of fear which is um represented in horror Whilst watching horror films and trailers it was clear that location plays a big part in reinforcing the dark themes which take place in the narrative. This is also conventional in terms of trailers in general because obviously like with a James Bond movie obviously it won't be dark themes but it will be like um, entertaining um, exotic locations so they always go to like Italy or something like that. So in order to reinforce the action genre they have to make it look real, they have to make it look like oh he's a spy and he travels all over the globe um, um, solving crimes and stuff so that's exactly what we wanted to do with horror uh, for example most of the story within Texas Chainsaw Massacre takes place at a farm which in the mainstream society seems like a location would be safe so it's quite domestic quite homely but once it is cut off from the mainstream of society it becomes scary because it's like there's no sense of familiarity there's no sense of oh I recognize this place you don't, you don't feel comfortable even just watching it as an audience as well so within our trailer we use both domestic and isolated locations because we thought that the mixture of them alone are both effective but the mixture of them together would definitely be able to evoke a reaction or impact our audience and it highlights the idea that you are never really safe wherever you are and this is what we wanted to portray towards our audience which is why we decided to use both domestic and isolated locations and this is in terms of isolated where Megan is running in the woods and domestic in terms of the fact that Flora's washing her bloody hands in the house so it suggests that something may have occurred in the house no one knows but it has that sense of enigma and mystery which we wanted to convey to our audience so that they're then more likely to engage in our um, trailer because they think oh 
what's this about? I wonder what's going to happen. I wanted our audience to be intrigued enough, to be shocked enough that they want to, that they actually really want to go and see our film.